taking a look at two questions from yesterday's lesson. We were dealing with slope and in these images we're going to find the slope of a slide as well as the slope of a roof. Now one thing I wanted to point to is the following. First off, the slope of the slide, what we're trying to do is essentially find the slope of this black line. For the roof, the slope of this line here as well. Something to consider is that typically we usually start with the rise and then the run. And in this case, it looks like if we were to start at the left point here, or the bottom of the slide, rising would be going up and running would be going over. So essentially, if you feel more comfortable, you can put your 3 meters here and your 5 meters here. But that's completely up to you. So when we find our slope, we always calculate our rise and we divide by our run. So in this case, we're looking at a rise of 3 meters and we're going to be looking at a run of 5 meters. Now you can keep your slope in a ratio or a fraction or you can actually convert to a decimal. So since 3 out of 5 is the same thing as 6 out of 10, I know that my slope would be 0 0.6. When looking at the roof, we're going to do something similar. I'm going to use the lines that they've given me in, the, in this actual question. So in this case, we can see our run and we can also see our rise. If you started at the right side of the roof here and you were to fall by 4.4, that gives us a rise of negative 4.4 and then our run would be a negative 3.2. That's going to be the exact same thing as me rising 4.4 meters and running 3.2 meters. So you can see that they're just the opposite. Here we have two positives and here we have two negatives. So dividing two positives or dividing two negatives, you'll end up with a positive slope. And you can see that this roof does rise to the right, as does this slide. So subbing in our information here, we have a rise of 4.4 and a run of 3.2. You can calculate this or convert this to a decimal, and you're going to get one point three seven five. You'll notice there are no units for slope and you'll also notice that slope can be greater than one as it is in the second example.